Hi, I'm Levy, and I'm going to talk about The Analects by Confucius today. And uh, this is a 1979 translation published by Penguin. Uh, I should start off by saying that the book isn't actually written by Confucius. It's uh, a compilation of his teachings put together by his disciples. Uh, it has a series of quotes. Uh, It'll start off with, the master said, or I asked the master this, and this is how he responded. And all, that's how all the entries go. Um, it forms the, the basis for a religion called Confucianism. And it's basically a guideline for how you should conduct yourself both in the social and political sphere. And it emphasizes things like leading by example, uh, you know, respecting tradition, uh, striving to be benevolent, striving for the truth, those sorts of things. Nothing really objectionable, I don't think. Um, Confucius himself was agnostic, which is interesting considering this whole religion was founded based on his teachings. Um, and that's kind of where the censorship part that censorship history starts. So this whole religion is started with Confucianism. It's very, very popular in China. Um, about 200 years, a little over 200 years after Confucius dies, uh, 221 BC, the Qin Dynasty comes into power and they uh, they form this centralized feudal system known as legalism there. and. The Confucius teachings don't really mesh well with legalism, so they decide that all Confucius's books should be burned. And more than that, um, if you were caught quoting Confucius, then you would be executed. And many, many people were executed for being followers of Confucius. Um, when the Han Dynasty came in in 191 BC, uh, they put a stop to the to the book burnings. They brought it back. Luckily, there was an oral tradition there in China, and people were able to piece together his teachings again um, uh, from memory. So um, his teachings came back. And they stayed for a long time. They had a good stay. And then the Cultural Revolution happened in China. That was from about 1966 through 1974. And it wasn't banned. It wasn't banned, but uh, it's more highly advised against. And when China highly advises against something, you kind of don't mess with it. So uh, anyone who was following Confucius at the time were... It, it was uh, it's more under attack than executions happening. Um, but after the Cultural Revolution, it was okay to follow again, and it made a big comeback. And now it's uh, an approved religion in China. So we'll see how long that lasts. Hopefully, hopefully forever. Um, so that's the censorship history. Um, for actually reading the Analects, um, I, ha I guess I just have a few tips. Um, like I said, uh, reading the Analects is a lot like reading status updates. It's just these little blurbs here and there. It's like reading old school Facebook. So um, be prepared for that. That's my one little warning. Um, also, there's an introduction in this edition of the book. Um, normally, I skip introductions. I like to appreciate the text for what it is. I don't like to be told what I should be thinking or what I should be looking for when I read it. So I usually read the, the meat part of the book first and then go back for the introduction. Don't do that. Read the introduction first and then go and read the rest of the book. The reason you would do this is because um, It'll define things like benevolence. It'll give a context 
to to these teachings that you if you go in and start reading blinds like you will not understand it um, so yeah introduction read it first then read the book thirdly um, there's a state saying by Sir Francis Bacon uh, it goes some books are to be tasted others are to be swallowed some few are to be chewed and digested I don't know if I got the quote right but something like that uh, this needs to be chewed and digested um, if you read it straight through I think you miss a lot of the point of it I mean I, I felt like I didn't get what I was supposed to out of it just because I'm on this time limit and I have to get through it I mean, I can't just take a year <laughs> to make another vlog for you so um, I, I I just steamrolled right through this book and I think that maybe some point in my life I'll just go back through again and take a year or two to just read one or two entries at a time kind of let that marinate in my head a little bit you know take my time with it and maybe something will sink in that I that didn't sink in this time uh, but since you have some time you can read this the way I think it was meant to be read um, so those are my suggestions for the book um, that's all I have and so next time which is tomorrow I'm going to be posting up my entry for Brave New World by Aldous Huxley and it's an exciting special episode so come back tomorrow later <laughs>